I'm interested. What accent do you think you've got these days? It's mixed. It's mixed. Um, just being in the States for so long, you know, I'll be on the floor and try and say something with an Australian accent, and guys like looking at me funny. So I try and, you know, say it the way an American player would say it, uh, which is a lot easier. Um, but it's just mixed. It depends. You know, as soon as I go back home and I'm with my friends, uh, it comes out a lot uh, more often than, you know, when I'm here. Are there any words that give you a bit more trouble than others on the court? Uh, I hate saying pass. I mean, pass is easier. So you say pass and they say... Pass. <laughs> but I'd rather say pass because it just sounds more natural <laughs> to me. So have you ever said to them, pass, and they just go, huh? Yeah, everybody kind of gives me the look, but we have an Australian coach, kind of Brett Brown, is also so he and he gets it. Um, but yeah, I mean basketball, basketball, things like that. It's just like <laughs> it just sounds weird coming from me, like knowing I should say basketball, but it's just you know it happens on the court. So it's easier for you in the end to just say basketball and sometimes and not have to put but, up. But when pajama. I do say it, it's kind of like I know it's it just feels weird. And I was just downstairs at a shop and the woman said, what are you doing today? And I said, oh, I'm interviewing Ben Simmons. And her eyes nearly fell out of her head and she said, I love that man. <laughs> Whipped out her phone, you were a screensaver. You're a pretty big deal around here. A little bit. Um, I think that's just, the, that's just Philly. Uh, it's a big sports town, you know, the Eagles, Phillies, and then Sixers, obviously. Uh, they're huge fans. You know, they want to see you know, guys play hard and uh, be aggressive and win. And, and that's the mentality, you know, our team has right now. I think I saw they love you so much they've started selling four and twenty pies right. at the game. They're selling pies in the uh, in the stands now. It's kind of funny seeing people you know cut them up and not really know how to eat them. <laughs> so, uh, but it's it's been good. What the knife and fork on the pie? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Come on, it's kind of disrespectful, right? Yeah. yeah. What's all that about? <laughs> no idea. End of this season. What's on the agenda? Uh, I'll be going back home. What do you look forward to when you head home most? Oh, I think just being home and just being in you know a comfortable area of the city. You know, I know. Um, where, where is home? Which, which city? Or? Melbourne. Melbourne for sure. Yeah. Is there a part of Melbourne you head to? Blackburn North. I go down to Goody's Chicken and get some fried chicken <laughs> and potato cakes. So that's, uh, that's definitely on the checklist. That's the dream. You know exactly the chicken shop you want to go exactly. to in Blackburn North. Yep, exactly. <laughs> so what sets it apart? Because they do fried chicken pretty well here, I would have thought. It's, uh, it's pretty good, but it's just not the same as you know, getting uh, gravy on, on your chips. Um, so it's just one of those things where, you know, it's one of my spots that I love to go to.